Barkey Company established in 1999, uh, mostly into retail and wholesale business. Uh, one of the largest with 13 supermarkets and uh, employ about 800 staff. Three years ago, Frankie goes into agriculture. Um, that was one of the, the changes that we have with the business itself. Um, and this is where we are today. When we first started, we have so many challenges. Being one of the major um, supermarkets in Samoa, it was quite hard for us to have consistency into our um, supermarkets. COVID does impacted us in different areas. It's affected the way we order. And there were times that we have to try and order quite a lot of basic items because we were scared and maybe, you know, sugar or rice were ran out. So we have to have a, a bulk of those stuff coming in. We changed the focus um, from import substitutions, especially with the vegetables and um, the, the eggs that we have. We draw our focus into farming. We know that uh, with the hydroponics, it got uh, a better result. So that's how we started and we actually expanded. We find it that a lot of some other vegetables, they can't grow well in Samoa. And we know that this is the only way we can actually have it supply throughout the year, but also have a quality um, vegetables. So we found that with growing in this system, uh, the quality is much better. I think um, for a customer itself, they can now have affordable vegetables. Um, some of these vegetables we actually grow, the tomatoes, the uh, cucumbers, and so as the capsicum. They can actually see the quality, but also, most importantly, the price. I think they find it much more affordable now, because I remember we used to import uh, from New Zealand air freight every week, and the cost of the tomato we actually sold at the supermarket was about $25. That was pretty high. At the moment, we're actually selling um, less than that. I think four tala, some people 500 grams, so everyone can now afford it. We don't use substance or anything into our plants. It's just organically grown. It's just a um, plant food, and that was it. We don't spray. A lot of my team has been very, very supportive. No matter how hard it is, and you know the, the things that people say, oh, you can't do this, or you can't grow this, we're always trying to find a solution to make it work. With the support the bank has offered us, ANZ has been very supportive uh, when we started to ask and we sent a proposal, and I think they see the potential to what we can do, and I think that makes it easier for us. It's not just lending, but they were also advising us um, where the business goes. So sometimes we got so many visions, we got so many ideas, but I think something that's different with other banks is that the ANZ um, has offered us that support. It's good to see this partnership. I mean, as long as they know that we got everything that they need, it makes it so much easier for us to grow in, in, in different business we actually go into. It's not just uh, lending, but you also care about your customers that you're going to grow with.